Welcome to audio video system playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dolakia, is going to explain Flickr and interlace scanning in this session. So, because of Flickr, there are some issues in video and how to resolve those issues by having interlace scanning. So, that is what this session is about. So, to understand this session, these are my session outlines. So, first, I'll explain basics of Flickr in television. Then, after I'll cover solution of Flickr in television. Then I'll be explaining solution which is interlace scanning. So first we will discuss basics of interlace scanning. Then after I'll explain how inter interlace scanning is working and based on that how we can calculate time period regarding horizontal scanning and vertical scanning. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of flicker in television. So in television, there are 25 frames per second in most of the television. And because of 25 frames per second rate is there, you'll be finding in some cases, because of rapid changes happening, some transitions are not smooth from one frame to other frame. And because of some transitions are not smooth from one frame to other frames, some distortion is happening and that distortion is resulting into flicker and that flicker of light that is very annoying to observer when scene is made alternatively light and dark. So bright and dark screen is happening alternatively and that is resulting into flicker. So if you want to see there are some cases which I will be placing here some light bright and dark sports are continuously getting created. You can see this is even one pattern of flicker. One can see one more pattern that I have placed of flicker. So why this is happening? The reason is frames are not getting scanned so rapidly. So there has to have smooth transition from one frame to other frame. And if that is not happening in that case there could be flicker and that is very annoying it will be having bright dark spot which is happening continuously in between video and that is very annoying to observer. And solution to this flicker that is like we can increase a rate of frame by twice. So if we increase rate of frame by twice means we were been discussing about 20 frames per second but if you increase it to 50 frames per second in that case, we can remove flicker. So to remove flicker, increase frame rate and that will eliminate flicker problem in television. So we will uh, do increase in rate of frame per second by twice means now that rate of frame will be 50 frames per second and that will eliminate flicker problem. So that is even referred as interlace scanning means we are increasing rate of frame. So let us try to understand that how that is happening. So basics of interlace scanning. So in that all we will be doing is we will be having now 50 vertical scan per second to reduce flicker. Flicker was happening when 25 vertical scan per second was there. But if you increase frame rate by double means now it is 50 vertical scans per second then we can eliminate flicker. So that is what interlace scanning. So let us try to understand that how that is happening. So one can see a display which is over here. And in this display, now we will bisect this display into two halves. So with respect to center, now you can see this display is getting bisected. Now, first of all, we will be having vertical trace. And that vertical trace that is having 292.5 lines and those lines are active lines. Now, see before I explain how that is happening, I think I should tell you how many lines were there previously. So previously there were 625 lines which was there vertically. Now all I have done is I have bisected 625 lines into two parts. So 625 divided by 2 that is 312 point. 5. So out of 
five lines, 295, sorry, 292.5 lines, that is therefore vertical trace and 20 lines, that is therefore vertical, first vertical retrace. And in second part, again, there will be second vertical trace that will be having 292.5 lines and 20 another vertical retrace horizontal lines will be there. So let us try to understand how that is happening. Like see, for first vertical trace, that vertical trace will begin from here. So first line that is over here, you can see second line, third line, fourth line, up to it will move on and 292.5 means this line is ending over here, right? So this is what first vertical trace with 292.5 active lines which is happening in this and from here there will be bottom to top vertical retrace. So first vertical retrace with 20 inactive lines it will begin from here. So you can see it is happening like this and it will reach is over here. So this is what first vertical trace with 292.5 lines. And this is what first vertical retrace with 20 lines that is reaching over here. Now, second vertical trace that will start from here with 292.5 active lines. So you can see those lines are started from here. So that is making 313. Now, 314, 315, like that, 317 and 603, 604 and 605. So from 313 to 605 means about 292.5 lines, active lines, which is happening for second vertical trace from top to bottom. And again, from this, again, there will be second vertical retrace, which will happen up from here. And you can observe again, 20 inactive lines, which is having second vertical retrace. So here, one thing that we need to understand, total 625 lines that is bisected into four different regions. If I say region A, so that is first vertical trace that is having 292.5 lines. Region B, that is first vertical retrace. So that is happening from here, which is with 20 inactive lines. Why it is why inactive? The is during that, there will be no uh, objects which is getting displayed on this frames. Then after from here, there will be second vertical trace from top to bottom with 292.5 lines. And again, then after there will be second vertical retrace with, with 20 lines, which is 20 inactive lines, which is happening from bottom to top. So that is how vertical scanning is happening. And horizontally, you'll be finding total 625 lines are there. So in single frame, in single frame, you'll be finding total lines are 312.5 and out of that 292.5 lines are active lines and 20 lines are inactive lines. So now we have bisected one frame into two frames. Previously one frame was having 625 lines, but now frame is having 312.5 number of lines out of which 292.5 lines are active and 20 lines are inactive. So that is how frames are getting divided. Now let us try to understand that with respect to calculation. So that will be a bit more clear now. See, this is what top to bottom and right to left scanning is there. And now one can clearly observe from top to bottom. This is what first line that is getting scanned. And for one line, if you if, if you see this black color is trace and this dash is retrace. So for this trace time period is 52 microsecond and for this retrace time period is 12 microsecond. So total time period is 64 microsecond. So horizontal uh, time period for this scanning with show tooth waveform is having time period of 64 microsecond means frequency is 1 by 64 that will be 15625 hertz. So that is how more lines are there. One can see this is second line. One can see now third line that is happening like this. 
and this show to this having time period of 64 microsecond 12 microsecond that is therefore trace sorry 52 microsecond that is therefore a trace and 12 microsecond that is therefore retrace and that is how top to bottom scanning is happening and as we have discussed there are a total 50 frames and as 50 frame is there from top to bottom you will be finding trace is there and for bottom to top there will be retrace so as per 50 frames are there and out of 50 frames as we have discussed 292.5 number of lines are there for trace so 292.5 into 64 microsecond so 292.5 into 64 microsecond so that will make this calculation to 18.72 millisecond so that is a time period of trace and 20 microsecond that is uh, sorry 20 lines that is for retrace so each line is having 64 microsecond so 64 microsecond into 20 so that will be 1.28 millisecond so total time period of this one frame that is 18.72 millisecond plus 1.28 millisecond that is 20 millisecond so frequency that will be 1 by 20 millisecond that is 50 hertz so that is how these frames are happening you can see second frames third frame so all frames are having time period of 20 millisecond and the resultant time period that is that is 20 millisecond for vertical scanning and that will make frequency 1 by 20 millisecond means 50 hertz so horizontal scanning is having frequency 15625 hertz and vertical scanning that is having frequency 50 hertz so this is how we can calculate interlace scanning i hope that you thank you so much for watching this video i would like to get your suggestions from your side the reason is i want all those topics that has to be covered on my channel so that students can easily learn everything which is required in their university courses and you can download all this material which i am teaching here from my application engineering funda so i am providing all those material free of cost you can download it it will be easier to you to learn all those topic which i am teaching here again thank you so much for watching this video and your suggestions are most welcome to me so please do give your valuable suggestions which is highly required here to optimize this channel.